Hi everyone, it's Deb. Hello. I have been busy today. Um, so welcome to the Friendship and Love Hop. I called it a collab in my cover t screen, but it's a hop. And I should have already put the names of all the other hoppers. This is hosted by mom to create and Elemental Designs. And all the other ladies and those two, will, their links will be below the video. So please do go check them out as well. This week, we were to make an altered CD or CDs, you know, one of these jobs, which I happen to have a whole little uh, <laughs> thing full of, like that, and only one has anything written on it, which I'm sure I have no clue what that is anymore, even though it says. Um, so anyway, so I let me tell you, I had a lot of fun with this. I went through a process so here's how I started out I um, how did I start out <laughs> on the front of the CD I put um, this light pink paper which was out of this recollections pink buttons pad and then um, I used a dark pink um, cupcake holder, not this light one, but it was a darker one like this color. And I flattened it out and I mod podged it on um, to the CD. Um, I, I think I mod podged the pink paper on too, I'm pretty sure. So while that was drying, I had found this gold leaf and metallic powder and I sprinkled it all over the wet Mod Podge. Now let me tell you, I have never used this, I had no clue what I was doing and it was a hot mess because I had this stuff, even though I used one of these sheets of copy paper, um, I had it everywhere. So. I thought, and I, as much as I was doing, it would like get off my fingers and everything. In fact, my desk is like forever going to be glittery now. But I used my hot, hot um, heat gun and I heated it and that did help. It, it tended to set it, but I didn't do that till after I was pretty sure the Mod Podge was dry. <laughs> so then all that said, it looked okay. Um, but then I made rosettes. So, and I made a big rosette out of this paper, which is out of the hashtag awesome Galentine's Day from last year, Recollections. And I made the small one out of this um, pink and red paper, which is double-sided. Um, let me see what's on the back. This is what's on the back. And that is out of Authentic um, Beloved, Beloved Collection. And I don't remember where I got that either. But, and then let's see. And then I also used out of the Recollections pack this piece. But what I did is I cut this out and that became the backing for the CD, but it showed through to the front uh, because it was round, it was bigger than the CD. And then also, I once I cut that out, um, I traced it and cut it out again on this, and this became the very back, like it went against the other piece of white with, with gold hearts. So I used that. I used one of these Shaker Heart stickers, which I don't know where I got anymore. Dollar Tree, Michaels, I don't remember. I used uh, one solid gold paper heart, heart die cut shapes glitter from Miss Sparkle and Company from Joann's. I used a CD. I used some 18 gauge pink wire from Jewelry Maker. I used some eyelash trim. I used some white pearls on a string. I used these three ribbons, which are all offre. 
and I either got them at AC Moore or Joann's, I can't remember. I used this pink ribbon, and I used this pink ribbon, and I used um, this white ribbon, which was from Tuesday morning, but this is all I have left of it. It was off this roll from Simplicity. And I used some ribbons. Uh, oh, I used this gold rick rack out of it. This was a yard sale bag. And I used this purple ribbon and I think one or two other ribbons out of this yard sale bag. So, um, I think that's it. Let me show you the product and then I'll see if there's anything else. This is what I came up with. So all the stuff with the Mod Podge and the um, gold leaf, you really can't see. It's under here. It's actually under this trim under here. <laughs> so if you would lift this up, you'd be able to see. Oh, and I used, um, I have been wanting to try to do this. And I have some, oops, somebody had gifted me some of this white tool stuff, mesh netting kind of thing, and I use some of that. So on top, the gold leaf mica. Also, in order to get it to not be flaking everywhere, I Mod Podged this on, and what I had to do was use wax paper and whatnot. I have a process video that I will either put at the end of this or put as a separate video. I might do it as separate because it's probably pretty long. Because it took me a lot of back and forth and whatever. And you'll see the whole process in there if you would like to know how I did this. Um, but here's the back. And I'll put somewhere on here, I'll put a little handmade with love by Deb Hawk. Um, but there's the back with the foil. And then underneath here you can see it's the white with the hearts that I cut out of that one piece of um, Recollections paper. Um, this is a two inch rosette, two inch this way, and I had to use three pieces of six, three times, 18 inches, 24 inches, not 18, no, 18 inches of two inch and to get it to, to work, to make a rosette. This is only an inch and a half and I only needed two six inch strips to do that. This is one of the Joann's, um, uh, Sparkling Company. This is the shaker some of that trim and then down here what I had done um, before I put the rosettes on I actually had to hole punch two holes in the CD and through the papers here and one down here and that was before I put the back on as well so that um, it wouldn't the workings of this and this wouldn't show what I did down here with this hole is I took some wire and I made a spiral and I glued it onto the back of the, I'm sorry, the front of the CD. And I went through the hole and came down and made a loop and that's what the tassel was put on. And then I made some more uh, spirals here to wrap around, <laughs> that kind of got funky, to wrap around the um, I might have to fix that spiral actually. But anyway, it's wrapped around to hold it securely and it's through the wire loop, which was kind of tight to get everything through. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it other than you can't see all that wonderful work with the mica powder and the tool, but it will be showing up again. Maybe not the mica powder too soon, unless I mix it with a medium. I've learned a lesson. This is not a good thing just to put on Mod Podge. It's better to mix it with a medium and have your medium be sparkly otherwise the stuff gets everywhere and a little goes a long way yeah i did also use studio g a glitter glue only um in here and i did also use my spectrum noir sparkle pen um that is just to make the two top papers a little sparklier and um the eyelash trim is also in between the two rosettes just because it seemed like it needed to be softened up a little bit there. So that is my project. I hope you like it. Sort of a wall hanging and it doesn't say love or Valentine's Day but it does have a heart and 
I just think it's pretty. <laughs> I hope you do too. Forgive the orange mat, but this was messy day, so I have my messy mat out. One of them. And my jewelry tools for the wire and whatnot. So I had a lot of fun doing this. It's taken me uh, basically about six hours because I'm slow and I'm learning and I'm playing with stuff. But I don't think it would really take that long if you just glued paper onto the CD and onto the back and didn't mess with the, um, the metallics and the tool and all that stuff. Um, and maybe it won't take me that long once I know what I'm doing with that stuff. But um, since I'm just experimenting and having fun, <laughs> it takes me longer to do everything. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you. I'm at 10 minutes. If you want to see the process video, it'll be the next video up. Please do go watch that. Um, I'll probably put it up about an hour or two after this, uh, this one shows. So have a wonderful Sunday. You'll see this on Sunday. The, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I think it's the 28th. <laughs> Sunday the 28th, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, have a good weekend. Uh, ha Sunday, have a great um, last week of January. Yikes. Uh, anyway, talk to you soon, guys. Hugs, love, and peace.